Tomorrow's car is a new generation of ultra-efficient ve vehicles which combines the best of both worlds, being fun to drive and very efficient and space-saving like a scooter, but very comfortable and safe like a normal car. There are all sorts of pressing uh, issues uh, nowadays, uh, more and more traffic congestion just if you drive to Melbourne, uh, how long it takes you to get into Melbourne and find a car park, um, global warming, you know, CO2 emissions, if you have a smaller vehicle then um, you have smaller, uh, less CO2 emissions. And um, if you would go on a bicycle or on a motorbike, there are safety issues, but with tomorrow's cars, you would be much, much safer. If you look at small cars, for example, a smart car, they took the approach and uh, basically cut the vehicle uh, and made it shorter, uh, which gives you an advantage in parking on the side of the road, but not really uh, in most of normal car parks where the first vehicle would um, be in the car park and the second one would lock it so you can't get it out anymore. Also, uh, you have a negative effect on the aerodynamics because the cross-sectional area doesn't really decrease but um, the length is reduced, so the aerodynamics uh, is much, much worse compared to a normal car. With our approach, ca cutting the vehicle lengthwise, you have the same or similar lengths, uh, but you have only half the cross-section, um, but the aerodynamics is also much, much better, so you can get a much, much more fuel-efficient vehicle. Also, in combining it with the driving dynamics of a motorbike, it's much, much more fun to drive. The key component of our vehicle is a tilting control system that makes it affordable and cheap. And the key features of that tilting control system is that you don't need uh, a pump or a reservoir. Um, so therefore it's very, very cheap. And it uses the driver's sense of balance to stabilize the vehicle, even if the vehicle doesn't move. Well, when I looked at different concepts, all of these concepts had some sort of safety issues. Um, they were either, uh, either difficult to operate or had some safety issues in certain conditions, and most of them were very, very expensive. So my approach is to make it much, much cheaper so it's affordable to everyone. Similar like Henry Ford did when he um, started his own company, where I worked for many, many years. <laughs> we did some um, market research, including seven focus group interviews with people from different countries and different uh, backgrounds, and analyzed these uh, to figure out what are the main impeding factors or what would be some impeding factors of such a vehicle. And we got some very, very interesting results. Uh, regarding the uh, tilting control system, uh, we developed a proof of concept which shows that uh, basically the principle of such a system works and now the next stage would be to find um, the funding and resources to build a complete prototype. So the motivation for that project was uh, to find an alternative uh, means of transport which is much more efficient compared to a normal car uh, and much, much faster um, in current situations of traffic jams and shortage of car, uh, car park spaces. Like when I was working um, at Ford in Europe, the um, travel time or distance to work was only 17 kilometers and half of that was German Autobahn where you can drive normally pretty quick, but unfortunately couldn't because of the traffic jam situation. So it took me between three, um, 30 minutes and 40 minutes on average. So I looked in different, into different means of transport. Uh, taking a motorbike was one option, but obviously you've got the safety risk <coughs> Um, driving around uh, between different trucks and um, therefore I looked at different options and all the options that I found were very very expensive so I couldn't afford them so I looked uh, into what could be done to develop a new type of vehicle that could deliver all these benefits.